there's a war on between heaven and hell. And you are on the front lines. What war? The only war. Earth is the battlefield. Human souls, the prize. Just the way it's all. Again, you know what time it is, man. I'm back at it once again. I'm here once again. Um, I'm outside right now, so that's why it sounds like that on your little audio. I'm outside just hanging out right now. I'm kind of like done my workout at this point. You know what I mean? I just want to hang out here for a little bit. Now, it is kind of cold out because I'm in the East Coast. So, you know, it'd be getting cold as shit outside. You know what I mean? West Coast is kind of different. Now, if you go to places like Cali, right? You go to like Dallas. You go to all the places. It's kind of warm depending on where you at. So, um, yeah, it might get cold, but not as cold. Shit over here, like New York, Philly, nigga, it gets to, like, 15 degrees. Fuck you mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, it really get like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, yo, like, I just want to sit here and talk to you guys again because I love making videos like this because I get to be my true self because people want to talk about, like, role playing, right? There's different types of roles. You got two characters you can play, bro. You got the one character that I play, and that's being myself in my everyday life. You know what I'm saying? That's just myself in my everyday life type shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I mean? Like, everyday life, I got to go to college program. I got to go to, like, freaking work. You know what I'm saying? And act like I'm in the program. Act like I'm a part of this fucking shit. And, you know what I'm saying? I got to, like, put on an act pretty much. But then when I, you know, be myself as in Spawn the 2020s and Third Eye Spawn, I can go by here the name. You know what I'm saying? I get to be my true self. I get to really open up to you guys as supporters from both Instagram and YouTube. And the only reason why I'm staying on Instagram and I'm pushing it so hard is because, you know, Instagram is a big platform. It's probably the biggest one out here. You know what I'm saying? It really is type shit. And I really want to push this out here as much as I can. I want to warn motherfuckers about masks and how people are really be undercover. You know what I mean? Taking people's identities and really be spying on you, bro. They really do. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers. I just seen this one dude just now. I'm not going to show up, but I just seen this one motherfucker just now just walk by with a dog. Some old white dude. No disrespect, but those motherfuckers be the ones spying on you, bro. So I'm keeping an eye out right now because these motherfuckers might take me out. You know what I'm saying? Talking all this shit. Exposing a lot of secrets that I shouldn't even be exposing that I learned not just from my experiences in this physical realm, but the spirit realm. Because when you open your third eye, it's not just going to expose the world and its entire dimension, but it's going to expose you too. You know what I'm saying? All your fears, all the shit you're scared of is going to be there. Because like Allah said, uh, and he said it in some type of way, I forgot. But from what I read, from my experience re reading Bibles, you know what I'm saying, different Bibles, since I'm a God's warrior, is that he'll, he'll tell you like this dimension pretty much belongs to Satan. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say Baphomet. When I say Satan, you know what I'm saying? It belongs to Satan, devils, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because when I was my shit, all I seen was, I seen a lot of motherfucking entities. A lot of them, you know what I mean? Seeing that shit, bro. I seen them literally possess people, go into people's bodies and take them and take them, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers in the hood, you know what I'm saying? I was I was walking around the hood, walking around, even the suburbs. And all I saw during that, during that day, or during those couple of times, was just fucking... All kinds of shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And I heard, and I heard, kept hearing voices, and I kept seeing shit in the sky. You know what I mean? Like, it was crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, the only reason I'm speaking on this story again is because it relates to a lot of shit that I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying? Do I suggest you to open it? Fuck no. Don't ever open that shit in your life. For me, personally, I I did it because I was like half asleep, and I ended up doing some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, So, uh, it enhanced it a little bit. And... Once you open that shit, you're going to have a voice that's going to come into your shit every once in a while. Motherfuckers going to think you crazy, <clears throat> but really you're not crazy. It's just an entity, some type of spirit, whether it is some type of demonic entity, an incubus, succubus, Jezebel, you know what I'm saying, in some type of way, or it could be an angelic force telling you stuff. Now, for me personally, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, there's times where I would, you know, I would do my thing, right? Go on my Instagram, post a lot of stuff, do my thing. I'll close my eyes in the dark for one minute. And I heard this voice keep telling me, hey, don't make a video. Hey, I got, some, I got something to tell you. You know what I'm saying? And then I keep listening to it and it leads me to a lot of shit that I don't know now. You know what I mean? Y'all got to 
know what I'm saying? You can get tapped in with spirits, but don't get to, don't get like too tapped in to where you, you open up your third eye all the way up, bro. Your shit should be open as far as knowledge, but don't open that shit up all the way, bro. I'm telling you, it's not working like that because I'm a wizard. Yes, I am. I'm a sorcerer. I've said it before and I'm saying it again. I am. First degree. I'm soon to be second degree because I'm doing this stuff for a while. I mean, I came across a lot of witches. I came across one recently. Bruh, she wanted my soul. They want your soul. Bro, I keep trying to tell you, bro. I said it on my Instagram. I'm going to say it on YouTube, man. Fuck it. They want your soul. They want it. They want your soul. Just like how Dracula can smell your blood from miles away. Oh, yeah, they want that shit. When we start doing the right things we need to do, I'm talking about, first of all, let's talk, let's talk about the physical realm, right? It's going to tie in. You're going to work. You work, you're working your ass off pretty much. You're working like 15-hour shifts, you know what I mean? Just busting your ass, you know what I'm saying? 18 hours, you know, you're just going hard. Get home late as hell, making money. You want to see retention. You're tapping into your beast mode. You're hitting the gym at least three days a week. You know what I'm saying? You're being celebrated from all the bullshit, negative foods. You know what I mean? Eating your fruits and vegetables. You know what I'm saying? You're drinking at least half a gallon to a full gallon of water a day. <clears throat> You're not busting nuts a whole lot to a, a dumbass computer screen or to some ugly, ugly, big ass forehead looking bitch. Excuse me, but it's, excuse my language, but it's true. I'm just keeping it real. Um, <clears throat> you know what I mean? You're doing everything right. You're doing everything right, bro. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, you starting to get in tune with your spiritual powers, like how I told you to get in tune with. You know what I'm saying? The right way, though. Not like how these spiritual motherfuckers do it. No, that's not how you do it. You don't just take DMT and just open your shit up. You don't just take DMT and just open your shit up, bro. No. You don't... No, bro. You're going to fuck around and get body snatched. You will. It's fast. You know what I'm saying? Just, it, all it takes is just one time. You know what I mean? It just, it just jump right into you. You won't even know it, bro. You be acting all funny and feeling all funny. You know what I mean? Some shit happens. You might black out, have some super strength, and then bam, some shit happens to you, bro. And like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, they want your soul when you're doing everything right. Same with y'all women. You know what I mean? Because the incubus is a man. That's a man deity from Babylon that transpires. And that's why I told people to watch Blade. You know what I'm saying? They tell you the truth in a lot of these movies. But some of these horror movies do be true, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some, some of that shit really be real, bro. It's facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, Blade, that's, some of that Blade shit is real. But the way how they show it in movies, they make it seem like, oh, vampires got big-ass teeth and they want to bite into you. Well, it depends. Because, like I said, when my shit was open, not all the way, but as far as knowledge, you know what I'm saying, at least back then, for a little while ago, I started feeling something, bro. You may not, you're not going to see it, but you're going to feel the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I was with this one girl, right, and I'm, I'm over here getting it in, I'm over having sex, you know what I mean? I'm over here. I'm stroking that shit, right? You know what I mean? I'm, stro I'm stroking it, you know what I mean? I, 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 I got my little Jimmy on, you know what I'm saying? I got my, I'm protected, you know what I mean? Niggas always get strapped up, you know what I'm saying? So I'm hitting it, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm in missionary position, right? Bro, tell me why she talks, she, <laughs> this might sound goofy, but I'm going to just tell you, bro. She told me talking about some, Hey, it's funny, but it's true, bro. She started making all kinds of weird noises, like, hey, yo, you know what I mean? It, it, I was like, like three strokes in, bro. Like, I'm just getting started, bro. It's gonna take a whole fifty for me to actually bust one. You know what I'm saying? But um, because I'm getting it in, I just started hearing that shit, bro. And that was around that time when I started really kind of waking up to the spirit room. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, it all started with fucking YouTube as far as my waking up experience, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even with the whole women situation. Even me being around dudes, bro. Like, niggas in the streets, suburban white boys, hell yeah, bro. Since, you know what I mean? I don't, I mean, I don't mean to say suburban white boys, because there's, there's a lot of brothers and sisters out in the suburbs. But I'm just, I'm just describing them. So, sorry if I sound a little prejudiced, but hey, I'm just keeping it real, like I said. But yeah, bro, like, that's just one story I want to tell y'all, bro. How it ties into people wanting your soul type shit and bro you know what she said after after i, I kind of like busted one within the course of like 15 minutes she over here talking about some like man she over here talking about some like 
oh, I love the sex and I, I want to I wanna buy your kids. Like, what? Bitch, what? This happened not long ago, neither. This happened, like, almost a year ago. Like, last January. This shit, like, recently, bro. Last January. Last year, bro, pretty much, because we're going to 2022. This shit is recent, bro. Like, nigga. Talking about showing to buy my kids. Like, <laughs> bro. Bro. And that's like, and mind you, bro, she had a boyfriend, bro. That should let you know that some some of these hoes be nasty. And some of these niggas out here fucking bitches be nasty too, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a two-way door to that one. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, you might fuck with a man that probably has five other women in his rotation. Now he might eat the pussy. You know what I'm saying? Now you kissing them, you're going you gonna to taste that shit on your lips. Or if it's a dude, you know what I'm saying? If you got a girl and she over with another dude, Best believe he busted nuts, all kinds of nuts on her face. You know what I'm saying? He doggy style that shit. You know what I'm saying? He going in. He going balls deep. You know what I'm saying? His balls hanging out that shit. I don't mean to go sexual, but I'm just keeping it real. I never got a chance to talk about the sexual aspect, man. You know, I'm going to talk about that shit right now, bro. Something told me to say it, and I'm going to say it. Best believe he doing all that shit, bro. No matter how old the motherfucker is. Because but, but let me tell you something about these women, fellas. All my men out there, young men, everybody, you know what I mean, old heads. Let me tell you something. A lot of young women who are, like, in their 20s, 18, 19, 20, 21, 30 years old, a lot of them young ones, they fuck with them niggas that be, like, in their 50s type shit. They do. And I think it's for two reasons, in my opinion. One, probably because he has, he has a good amount of money, he got his head straight, he got his shit together because he's around that age, so you expect that. Number two... He's more older. He has grown man strength. You know what I mean? He's probably a real nigga. He probably be hitting the gym. You know what I mean? Probably a big ass nigga too. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I mean? It depends on what you like. And number three, because he fucking the shit out of her. You know what I'm saying? He fucking the shit out of her. He always spoiling, spoiling the bitch. You know what I'm saying? And the same with some of these weird ass niggas out here. Y'all be fucking with older women. Let's keep it real. I keep it all the way 1K on my channel. You know that. Stop fucking playing with me, yo. You know that. You know what I'm saying? Fellas, some, some of you fellas, man, y'all be messing with them little, little sugar mamas or whatever, I don't know, cougars, whatever you want to call it, bro. It's different names. Fucking, you be messing with that shit. Nigga be a 20 years old fucking with a chick that's like 35 up to 40. Now, ain't nothing wrong with it because you a grown man, so you can just get it in. You can just fuck anything you want. But what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that, like, bro, that's, that's just how the way, how the dating game works. That's just the red pill. You know what I'm saying? Especially these motherfuckers be on the dating apps. A lot of shit that I know came from in person, but nowadays they got technology out of this world. So, you know what I'm saying? You be on the fucking dating apps type shit. You know what I'm saying? And, like, and then you gonna meet someone, and then the person, it don't even look like the exact one on the picture. That ever happened to y'all? That happened to me one time, but I didn't meet them through like the dating app. I met them. I met this person through Instagram before I went. Before I was even spawned. You know what I'm saying? It was this one chick, right? You know what I'm saying? Not the not the trans not the transgender one. You know what I'm saying? It was it was the other one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna talk about a transgender story in a minute. But it was this one girl, right? She wasn't a tranny, but she was just a full woman. And bro, she, bro, she looked like, uh, uh, what's her name? Megan Good, Jada Pinkett. She like that type shit, right? She was in between light skin and brown skin. You know what I'm saying? As far as her color. So I'm over here talking to her type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? You fuck with me. You know, we've been talking for about a good, a good couple weeks now. How about we get something going? How about we meet at like the little ice cream place and grab some ice cream? How about that? You know what I'm saying? Since it's summertime, and I know you want to stay cool out here. So I did that, and bro, when I met this, when I met this person in person, right? She did not look anything like the shit that I seen off of Instagram, bro. She went from looking like Jada Pickett to Shrek. How? Just how? Explain that shit, bro. Everyone's beautiful in their own way, but when you're over here lying to people, oh no, I can't fuck with you. I I can't, bro. I can't do that shit, bro. You're over here deceiving people, bro. I seen you, I seen this girl in person. Bro, she looked like a Oompa Loompa. I'm like, yo. I'm, <laughs> bro. If I had a picture right now, I'd show you, bro. God damn. 
bro. Type shit, bro. You got you gotta see that shit, bro. Damn. Taking a moment moment silence for that one. I'm over here thinking. Shit happened about a few like about four years ago, a little while ago. You know what I'm saying? But I was just an experience I'll never forget. But another catfish experience that I want to tell y'all about, yo, the transgender one, this one was wild. Oh my god, let me let me just say it. First of all, I'm over here doing my thing. It's when a nigga was still beating his meat, still stuck in the matrix doing dumb shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hanging around motherfuckers in the streets. Still intelligent, but but still did a lot of dumb shit. Uh, had a potential to do whatever. You know what I'm saying? I, I did all that stuff. So, um, you know. So then I met this. I didn't meet this person in person. I, like I said, I met this person through, uh, I believe it was, yeah, it was Instagram. Again, Instagram. You know what I'm saying? This is, before, like I said, way before Spawn. This is when I was someone, someone. Because I'm not, I'm not going to say my name, but you can just consider me a someone, someone. Um, so, this is when I was someone, someone. And, uh, freaking, th this, this person gave me heart eyes off of a post that I had of me, like, smiling or something. It was in the barbershop. I was, I was in the barbershop, like, smiling or something like that. You know, some cool shit, because the nigga had a fresh cut. Nigga felt like I was the man type shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause she gave me hard eyes, right? DMing me like the picture, cause you, cause sometimes you can't reply to a nigga a nigga story or a nigga post like that. So, uh, so yeah, she gave me hard eyes, and I seen her profile picture, and I'm looking, and I'm like, oh shit, this cute, just, you know what I mean? She got a little, nice little firm booty. She probably doing a lot of squats. You know what I'm saying? Because listen, guys, there's different types of booties. You got the firm, firm ones. Like when you do a lot of squats, you know what I'm saying? Your shit gonna be looking firm. It's gonna look like it's in there. Like when you want track. Basketball, football, your shit gonna be kind of firm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, I don't mean to sound all gay when I say that, but it's just true. For the women, it's gonna be the same way, so it ain't no different. You got the fat, fat ones, like how the big girls be having type shit. You know what I'm saying? It be, it be out there. You got like the the round, round, the round ones. It's like a diaper booty type. And then, then you got like the uh, little booties like Coil Ray or a Boy Ray, I'm gonna just say. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I can't really think of anything. I can't really think of anything straight. You know what I'm saying? I know that's a nigga. So shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? But it's fucking true. I'm sorry, nigga. But um, but yeah, like as I'm messing with, as I'm talking to this person, I start talking for just a month, about a month, right? I'm telling you some stories about me messing with these people, bro, and how you can learn from me. So I'm talking to this person for a month, right? talking, you know what I'm saying, and I ain't gonna lie, bro, I don't mean to get all nasty and freaky once again, but I, we were sending news to each other, like, I'm over here sending my dick, I sent my balls, I sent my ass, you know what I'm saying, like, yo, I, listen, I'm just keeping it real, now, I know it's a little too far, that's some weirdo shit, but like I said, niggas was in the matrix, niggas was trying to get some, some action, niggas was trying to get some, some pussy, you know what I'm saying, niggas was horny, you know what I'm saying? Niggas was really on that shit. But, um, let me move this a little bit. Sorry. So, um, so yeah, bro, we started doing that and that. And then one time I said, hey, how about, how about, like, uh, I see you for a second? You know, how about we FaceTime for a minute? Because I never got a chance to really FaceTime. So when I FaceTime this person, yo, why does she have the deepest fucking voice, my nigga? I want you to think about that. You know Michael Clark Duncan? The bitch sounded like that. The bitch sounded like a fucking cartoon character. Right in front of my face. And then when I look closely, the bitch had a mustache. And I realized this, this ain't a woman, it's a transgender. Like, yo, that's nasty. If y'all like that shit, that's okay. If, if you want to be gay, then go ahead. But transgender, I don't know about all that. Nah, bro, I can't fuck with that shit. You know what I mean, I ain't transphobic, like how they want to claim and put that word out there. But I'm just, I'm just, I, I just can't be around that. That's all. Respectfully, you know what I'm saying? So, yo, like, as I'm, like, as I'm seeing this, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I hung up the phone so fucking fast. I was ready to fight that nigga 
Like, yo, see me all this fucking time. I sent my I sent my body to a motherfucking man. That, oh, man, I'm about to beat this nigga ass. <laughs> I'm about to find his IP address and have a whole boxing match with that nigga, bro. What the fuck? I was mad as shit. I was creeped the fuck out. Like, hey, yo, what kind of nasty shit is this on, right? So, um, so yeah, bro, like, jeez, man, this, this guy is one of the craziest stories I've ever been through in my entire life. So and then, she, and then they talk about some. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Sorry, and that, that's what I was saying. I, I said in his voice recording. I said, "Sorry, the fuck you mean you sorry? You wasn't you wasn't sorry when I first met you. You didn't tell me shit. You about to be sorry when I fucking block block your uh your Instagram. You know what I'm saying? I thought you was a woman. You should have told me you was a fucking man, so I wouldn't have to go through all this shit. God damn. Like I said, I have nothing against nobody." Or anything, but I just I, I just have a certain preference when it comes down to dating. You know, what I mean, my my preference dating is light skinned girls, dark skinned chicks, brown skinned type chicks. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my that's my dating preference. Not no fucking tranny, you know, transgender people, or or uh, another man. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, because because I do got a couple people who are gay. You know what I'm saying I got this. I got I got one stud. She claims to be a stud. You know what I'm saying? That, that fucks with me, you know what I'm saying, as far as the spawn, you know what I'm saying, and shout out to y'all, you know what I'm saying, it's all love over here, man, I don't give a fuck what you like, just don't rub that shit on, don't rub all that, like, for all my niggas out there that's, you know, about that gay life, don't rub that shit on me, because you get smacked up real fast trying to touch me and get at me, like, nah, nigga, I'm not fucking with that shit, respectfully, though, I'm trying to keep it respectful, I'm just giving you a heads up, because I don't roll like that, you know what I'm saying, but that just proves that shit happens to the best of us. You know what I'm saying? Shit, shit happens all the time. It happens to the best of us, bro. You know what I'm saying? About you people you come across that you didn't know was an agent, you didn't know was a woman or a man as far as gender, is dating preference. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens in life. You know what I'm saying? I thank God I did not, like, go down that route, bro. You know what I'm saying? Thank God, bro. Like, as a, as a straight man, thank God, bro. Because that, that's just not, it's just not me, bro. Thank God I didn't go to, I didn't go to jail because not too long ago, not too long ago, I was facing some criminal charges. So thank God I didn't go to jail. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was going to go upstate type shit. I was facing criminal charges for shit I didn't do because of a bitch. But um, but thank God. And thank, thank people. And thank you guys. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, if it weren't for you guys, I would not have these 300 subs. Now, I know it's a little bit of an amount compared to like, you know what I mean, 5K, 10K, 30K, 50K, 100K to a million. Like, I know that's really, really small. And boy, if you think about it, that's a lot of fucking people watching my shit. 300 people? Imagine seeing 300 people in one big-ass area. That's a lot of fucking people, my nigga. That's a lot. That's a whole community. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It might be a little less than that. I might be exaggerating, but hey, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of people. 300 people? God damn. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with that shit. When I, when I seen that I was hitting subs... I realized that, you know, it's okay to hit subs because honestly, bro, I don't give a fuck about views. If I'm keeping it real with you, I don't. About my whole channel, I don't give a fuck about them views, man. I just care about getting the truth out there as much as I can before my time is up. You know what I mean? Before a motherfucker, you know, somehow, some way die. You know what I'm saying? Hope that, hope that I don't, you know, like we all going to die eventually if I'm keeping it real. Move my phone, Scar. If I'm keeping it real, we all going to die someday. But I, I just don't want it to be over some dumb shit, over no bitch. Excuse my language once again. I'm sorry. Over, over no, over no fucking money. I, I want it to be over something that's valid. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm trying to stick up for my people, like if, 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 like if I'm if I'm Superman, right? And I see like a big ass meteor come down, right? I would jump right in front of there type shit. You know what I'm saying? Just just so I can protect you guys because you guys fuck with me for who I am. You know what I'm saying? I like to be around the people that love me for who I am. Because to keep it real with you, I'm hated. But a lot of people don't accept me for the shit for the shit that I do. Which is just tell the truth as a whole. Now I don't go around telling people about mask in person. I don't really do all that because people aren't worthy for this information. It's only for a select few, you know. You know, especially the shit I know about the spirit realm and hieroglyphics and all that historical stuff. Not the fake one, but the shit that I know personally from spirits. A lot of people don't know that. That's why I don't tell people all this shit, bro. It's sacred information. The people I tell it to is people who I come across who are just like me, who are smarter than me, stronger than me. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to be around older people. I do. I obviously do. 
I like being around people who are older than me. I like being around teachers, martial arts teachers. I like being around people who get paid a lot of money. You know what I mean? Because I get to learn from that. You know what I'm saying? Which is a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I get to learn from people like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm not. Like, shout out to all my young ones, my my young bulls, my teenagers type shit. But I like to hang around older people a lot because I'm an old soul. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with a lot of this new age shit. Niggas wearing tight ass jeans. You know what I mean? Can't get circulation to your nutsack. You know what I'm saying? All the way to motherfuckers wearing man purses. You know what I'm saying? If you're a straight man, then that shit is not okay. You sh you should stop that right now. Um, and yeah, just shit like that, bro. Motherfuckers got piercings in the ears trying to be like Lil Uzi Vert. Gay ass, bodysuit ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not here to bash anybody. You know what I'm saying? That's not the purpose, bro. The purpose I'm trying to make is that you need to move with awareness and learn from motherfuckers like me from my experience, bro. Because I have a lot of stories. Not just with the whole dating aspect of things, but I got stories with a couple of things with basketball. I got some football stories. I got some school stories from when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? I got stories at work. You know what I'm saying? I got stories with family. I got a lot of stories, bro. These are true stories. Like, real, like real shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I haven't showed you guys a story on how I first woke up with a uh, little Tommy Lee and all that other shit. That, that ugly ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's just, excuse my language. Sorry if I'm cussing so much, but hey, niggas gotta let it out, bro. You know what I'm saying? I keep it raw and authentic. I say what's on my mind and I say what's really happening because I actually give a fuck. I actually give a damn about you living for the rest of your life. Unlike these spiritual YouTubers who do not give a flying fuck. They don't, my nigga. They don't. I don't know how many times I got to tell you that shit. They fucking don't. You think Rashad Jamal give a fuck about you? I, I, if we go to war right now, hey, bro, we're going to be done. Everybody gonna be done. Even civilians gonna be done who don't know better. They done. You can't let you can't let niggas like that lead you to fucking battle. You can't. You can't let you can't let niggas like fucking uh what's his name? Foster Ebay leave you to battle. Like nigga, you got a mission to do. Von Two Cut, you got a mission to do. You got lives to save. You are a superhero. You are fucking chosen. You know that. You one of us. I don't give a fuck what you is. As far as religion, that shit don't matter. Religion is just made to divide motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, to, for us to go to war with each other. Same with being in the hood. Crack, cocaine, all the guns you can think of. Oh, yeah, let's not forget about hip-hop. It's all made to divide us as people from all races and all colors and all places of the world. So we will never come as one. Now I understand we are not, we are, we are all, we are, we are all not the same. Excuse me, excuse me. We are all not the same, and I understand that. Some motherfuckers just born to be different like myself. You know what I'm saying? Same with you, who's fucking watching? But you have to understand is that when people from the same, the same interests come together as one, it's more powerful. When you pray to the creator, Allah, Jesus, the universe, God, the architect, when you pray as one, as a collective, it's way more powerful. It is. And also when you sleep, you go to the hyperbolic time chamber. My Brazil brothers, Puerto Rico brothers, Jamaica brothers, Africa brothers. They know what the fuck it is. They know way more shit than I do. They do. You wonder why I like to be around him so much. You wonder why I talk about him here and there. Because I fuck with him. I fuck with my Latinos. I fuck with my Puerto Rican. I fuck with the whole Spanish culture, period. Hola, como esta? What you mean? The fuck you talking about? Shout out to all y'all, man. I fuck with y'all language, y'all food, y'all people. All y'all. Y'all, I got to come around y'all more often, man. I want to learn some shit, man. Get away from these fuck-ass niggas, bro. Yeah. Yeah, New World Order talking about some, let's put niggas in jail and all this other shit. See, a lot of these niggas deserve to be there. Y'all do. Y'all fucked up the community. Yeah, hell yeah. I can't stand niggas. I love hardworking black men and black women every day. I can't stand niggas, bro. White motherfuckers can't even stand niggas. Wanna know why? Because y'all fucked the community up so bad. Doing dumb shit. Robbing stores and all that shit. 
trying to impress your homies that when you die or go to jail, motherfuckers will not even be there. They're not going to be there. Sorry for moving the little camera. I have it like to my hoodie where it's all black. Sorry about that. But yeah, bro, motherfuckers ain't going to be there when you dead six feet under, my nigga. And it's crazy because niggas think that shit is cool. Bro, you think it's cool to lose homies every day? Lose your family? Your loved ones? It's all this shit in the fucking matrix. That shit ain't cool, bro. Hip-hop is a beautiful thing. It's used to entertain. But the problem with it is that they use it to fuck everything up because they want to send destruction to our people. I've been saying this. You fucking know that. Stop fucking playing with me, yo. But that's some real shit. We won't talk about black people. I'm going to say that shit. Niggas in the streets, I don't respect you. I don't. I'm away from you, bruh. Fuck you, my nigga. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. I fucking hate you, yo. I really do. I don't like niggas. I don't. I fuck with hardworking black people and black women. Every time around a white man, he fuck with me for me. He don't want to make money with me. But every time I go in the hood, niggas want to hate on me just because I might look better. Or I'm taller. Or I'm better. Or I might have a, a higher up wisdom. Because I'm out here doing shit that some of the shit even Jesus did. And they crucified his ass on my fake ass cross. Yeah, we won't talk about that shit though. Fuck that cross, nigga. He don't want us knowing for that. That's why every time I see niggas wearing that cross around their shit, I just, I just want to go up to them and just take that shit, bro, and throw that shit. Nigga, fuck that cross. Keep a Jesus piece, but not no fucking cross. That's where they killed the nigga at. Imagine if you got shot and niggas had a chain of you getting shot. You don't want to know niggas. You don't, like, niggas don't want to get known for, uh, like, being shot and shit. You know what I'm saying? You want to you wanna be known for something bigger than that, bro. Jesus didn't want this shit. A lot of you motherfuckers don't believe in Jesus and I can understand that because you know that everything is fucking fake and it's fake ass reality. You get that. You got to maneuver. You got to find everything that's so pure and authentic and shit. But you can't find too much and that's okay. You just got to deal with it. Deal with it. But that's some real shit. Yeah. I'm talking to all y'all. Start questioning shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking my, I'm speaking my honest thoughts, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I love hardworking people as a whole. No matter who you look like, who you are, I don't discriminate. But I hate motherfuckers who fuck up the world and fuck up communities. I hate witches. I hate demons. I'm here to stop that shit, bro. Fuck that. Real shit. I'm here to stop these masked up celebrities. Like if I were to see a bitch like Nicki Minaj in person, I'd probably punch that bitch in the face. Snatch that motherfucking mask off and show everybody who she is. Or he is. Niggas be transgender type shit. You know what I'm saying? Or you could even go, you could even go to Donald Trump. Yeah, fuck that ugly piece of shit. I punch him in his fucking face. Fuck Rosa Parks, fuck Martin Luther King, fuck the whole shabam. Niggas don't fuck with my people. I don't respect them. What? <laughs> Spit right in their face, nigga. Y'all said it. I don't care. I don't care what you think. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like my fucking channel, get the fuck out of here, yo. Yeah. Real shit. I'm going to tell you how I feel from the heart. I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to tell you shit that I believe in and shit that I know from my experiences in life from back then leading until now. If you don't fuck with that, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? I want you to question everything I just said and think about everything I just said. I love doing these I love doing these talks, you know what I'm saying? Like really get to for you guys get to to get to know me um as a man and as a person, you know what I'm saying? Um and I want to I want to get to know you guys too. The ones that really fuck with me for me. You know what I'm saying? I apologize for all the cursing and the the aggressiveness that I showed. But I got to let this shit out, bro. You know what I'm saying? I said a lot of wild shit. And I've done a lot of crazy shit, but that's the whole point of life. You try things, and you live and you learn. But if you go to hell, 
you might live and you burn. And then when you take a left, you turn around. And then when you turn around, the people be around you that be hurting now. Because you don't wanna be working now. The bitches be twerking now. Because I'm lurking out. First day out, Grizzly. T. So let me go, let me fly. B. T Y R O N E. But just know, I'm like underground. Scott, Scott E. Pippin. Trippin. Niggas put work. Niggas want beef, so I bring it to the kitchen. Fuck what you say. I say. 2K. Hit nigga. Tatiana. Bust down. Hit nigga. Score N1 like a touchdown because it's blue face. And fuck what you say. Bust in the mouth like a toothpaste. Fuck what I say, you say double A two K. Fuck what you say, I say you say double A two K. We're gonna look at eBay, we're gonna look at free eBay, we're gonna look at G Way, we're gonna look at free eBay. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is bored. Let me freestyle. You know what I mean? I do what the fuck I wanna do. You can laugh at that shit all you want. I'm not even thinking about rapping right now. I'm just saying shit off this off the top of my head. Just random shit. You know what I mean? Gotta have fun. You gotta have fun in this fucking matrix, man, before I go. You gotta have fun, man. Try. Just try. I know it's hard, but just try. Stop being depressed, man. Get your ass up. Wake the fuck up, nigga. Let's put in this fucking hard work, yo. Let's get this money. Spawn gang out. Whoop! Don't let it see it.